welcome back to my channel my name is vinita if you are new here please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any of my videos hi everyone welcome back to another episode of the bali trip i hope everyone is doing well so without further ado keep on watching day 4 was an adventurous day for us in bali we went for the white water river rafting in ubud which is a must do activity here Frankly speaking, Bali without river rafting is nothing. We could say that we had the best experience of our lives in Bali. So we started our day at 8:30 in the morning. Our pickup time was 8:30 a.m. and the driver was already waiting outside the reception area of our hotel. First they took us to the center where we first needed to make payment, change our clothes and take our rafting equipment. Then to the main rafting location which is a 10 to 15 minute drive from the center. the river one must have to descend so many stairways which was quite a difficult walk but once we reached the side of the river we got excited the guide will introduce you to everything before rafting once that is done you are ready to raft i was hoping to catch all the amazing memories on my mobile phone while rafting but unfortunately that couldn't happen otherwise i would not have enjoyed and experienced such a beautiful time once we reached our first stop which was the beautiful waterfall we clicked some photos and even took some small video clips so that you guys can at least have a glimpse of the rafting experience there are two stops the first one was the waterfall and the second one was the resting point where one could enjoy the drinks and pay later The complete river rafting took 2 and a half hours. There are so many companies in Bali that organizes activities like river rafting, ATV rides and much more. But the company with which we booked was the Bali Rafting Ayung River. I have mentioned all the details like WhatsApp number and website in the description box so you can check that out. I had the best experience with the Bali Rafting Ayung River. It cost us 500,000 rupees per pax. which is approximately 2600 INR that includes the hotel transfer pickup and drop off insurance all the rafting equipment one dry bag and a safety bag are with the guide who will keep your mobile phones and cameras one professional guide is provided who will help you understand all the things
To reach the Tibumana, we had to descend some stairs, which is quite not my thing, and that is why it is advisable to see only one waterfall in a day, because one can barely feel their legs if visiting so many at once. The path to the Tibumana waterfall goes through the jungle and the beauty of nature. There are a few rules to be followed while getting to Tibumana. This hidden waterfall near Ubud is perfect for chilling. There were only two or three people when we reached there because the waterfall is still untouched by mass tourism and so that was the best chance to enjoy the beauty of the place without being interrupted. We spent some good time there. And as it was getting dark, we headed back to Ubud city and had a good dinner at Pesona restaurant, which was a good Indian restaurant in the city center. And this is how we ended our day 4. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.